Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to take a look at the market and what has been going on these past couple of days and it's really extended into this weekend. I want to take a look at like the pre-market crash that we're experiencing right now, kind of talk through a few of those things, um, look at some of our weekend league uh, rewards, Thursday flips that we completed. Um, during Thursday, the couple hours and the, the day after awards, I'm going to take a look at that um, because th the Thursday rewards actually it worked okay this week. There were some, some specific places that we talked about in my video on Wednesday. If you followed those those guidelines, um, you were able to make some pretty good coins um, on a lot of a lot of cards. You know, we looked at the popular, cheaper budget areas, and a lot of people went out and they built some teams this weekend. Obviously, trying to save their coins for weekend league, um, and they used a lot of cheaper players. So. We'll take a look at some of those flips, um, but first off, we got to take a look at this higher tier, upper tier market. You know, we're lo we're looking at icons, we're looking at team of the years, we're looking at some of the most expensive and um, uh, pricey special cards on the game. Um, we're gonna actually go in here and take a look at the team of the year squad that I have um, made inside of Ultimate Team. I have seen some of these prices today and it is ridiculous. Right now, uh, Ronaldo Team of the Year card is 6 million coins, but if we go to Footbin, I'm gonna show you guys this. This card earlier today, I had it on my transfer list. Take a look at this price earlier today. He was 5.6 million coins earlier today. That got bought. Now, obviously, if you're the guy that bought it 5.6 and you're, you're listing here at, at 6 million and it actually sells, you know, you're actually going to make a little bit of profit on that, like 100 and 150,000 coins or so, but actually not even that much. Um, but still, that's a crazy drop in this card that if we go back to Footbin, I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo has been over 7 million coins for such a long time. Even when he was in packs, his lowest that he got was like 6.8, 6.6 million coins, and he's been over 7 million since. Now he's at 5.6 million coins. That's the lowest that he's ever been. Honestly, it's going to go lower, but it's crazy to see how much this top tier market has fallen off. And it seems really ridiculous to us, um, but this is almost just the beginning. I mean, a lot of people have offloaded these types of cards from their clubs, but there are still people out there that have them. You know, people that maybe stopped playing the game that had some of these cards. Obviously, if you're playing the game and you have a team of the year card uh, tradable, you know, you're probably somebody who is pretty involved with the game as the year continues to go on. But I'm sure there's people out there that have stopped playing the game uh, for whatever reason, and they have some of these cards in their club. They're gonna come back when Team of the Season starts, when the panic really sets in for that, when they start advertising Team of the Season, and you're gonna see even more panic on a lot of these cards as people really cleanse their clubs, get the stuff out. But today almost felt like it was one of the first big hits um, also this week has, been, has felt like it, but today especially for a lot of these team of the years, the top tier icons, it just took a big hit today. And I wonder if people got their weekend league rewards, got their coins and, and realized, you know, I'm just going to go make a cheap team, play this weekend and the next weekend if I have to with a cheaper team and just kind of roll until team of the season in that uh, way, shape or form. Um, but one one example is this prime primer, the Optimus Prime Mateus. I bought one this morning at 2.25. You can see there's one there listed now at 2.29. Uh, the cheapest Mateus that was up uh, like ever. I had never seen him go under 2.5. So I was listing right under 2.5 all day. I saw one get bought at 2.42, and then one got listed up and did not sell at 2.3 flat earlier today, and then now he's 2.29. So I'm looking at taking a loss on that card. I was just trying to get a quick flip out of it because he was selling at 2.4 plus, um, but I kind of failed on that one. I'll, I'll uh, go into the rest of the weekend with that one, see if I can maybe scratch 2.4 out of it or break even at least. Um, but that's kind of my mistake. I was going for some profit there, and I really saw the top tier cards going down in price, and I didn't uh, you know, adjust accordingly. I also want to take a look at the Team of the Knockout Stage cards. And obviously, people have been trying to flip these, invest in these. I've been able to flip a good chunk of these, um, but a lot of them have just continued to tank in price. Now, Sun has recovered a little bit. He was 475. You can see now that he gets bids at 482, so he is up a little bit. But today, man, Cristiano Ronaldo, this card was like 3.1 million coins all of yesterday. Rewards hit last night. He was about the 3 mil. I got on this afternoon to look at the market and I saw this card at 
eight million coins 2.78 you can see now that he's right around uh, 2.93 million again but that was a crazy price for that card and this messy card it's like 17 at one point today 175 just some crazy crazy drops in price even on the guy like Firmino he was 300k like through the, the entire week until yesterday and he just dropped off another like almost 10 percent uh he's down like 250 240 now which is really crazy for that card. Um, but yeah, this is just one crazy, very intense pre-crash that we have seen on the market so far. And you know, a lot of people are saying like, this is a pretty bad market crash. It's getting pretty bad. It's only gonna get worse, I'm telling you right now, because look at this. The market overall was at 50 points at the beginning of March. For the icon moments, you know, in between Carnival, after the winter ones to watch, the market was at 48 overall points. Now, I realize that a lot of this index 100 really relies on the high rated golds, which if we look at high rated golds right now, they're still kind of inflated. You know, back here in March, when the when the market was at 48 points overall for the Xbox market, these 86s were 14K, the 87s were 20K, 88s were like 27, 28K, and 89s were low 40s, even like 30,000 coins. So that's a big part of the market that is still kind of high. You know, we have a lot of SBCs that are still out. We're getting more SBCs um, and people are still working to complete icons. I mean, every the more icons that we've had this year, that is just more and more demand um, for, for those cards and for those high rated golds to stay inflated in price. Not to mention, uh, we have a Sadio Mane player of the month that people might be chipping away at. Uh, the cruise doesn't cost much. Maybe people are going after a Delict, um, or maybe even the Christian Eriksen card, which is a pretty sick card, and I've honestly thought about doing it myself. But with Team of the Season around the corner, I mean, he's probably going to get a Team of the Season card. He's had a great year. And can you imagine what this card's going to look like when he gets a Team of the Season? It's going to be sick. So there's just a lot of SBCs out right now, and that's keeping the gold market high and keeping this number high. You see, though, just about... 10 days ago, the market was at 80 points overall, right before we started. Um, coming out of foot birthday, right before we started this new promo of Team the Knockout stage, the market was at 80 points, which is crazy. As you see now, it's at 60 points. That is a huge drop off for two weeks. And that's why you hear people calling this like the, the, uh, the Team of the Season pre-market crash, which I think is exactly what this is. This is people realizing that, hey, we had Team the Knockout stage, Team of the season is the next promo that's going to be coming out. So we got to get ready. People are selling their high rated cards. That's where you really see the market crash starting to pan out. You see a lot of people selling their high rated cards. And those are people that are the smartest, not the smartest at the game, but they're most involved with the game. People that have all the coins, the pros, um, you know, the guys that have millions upon millions of coins that can afford a multiple team of the years, multiple icons. Those people are more engrossed and involved in the game that we saw that first wave of panic today because they know what's going on with the game and they wanna sell before Team of the Season comes. So they're kinda of causing the first bit of panic on this market. And just wait, there's gonna be a lot more panic through the rest of the upcoming days and weeks before Team of the Season. Now, I think Nepenthe has tweeted a picture today of like a team of the season, it was it was bait. It was not real. Team of the season is not coming. I'll back out of Ultimate Team and load back in to show you that there is no loading screen. So if you're panic selling your cards, don't panic sell your cards because of that. It was a funny, it was banter, it was funny, but I think a lot of people took it seriously because team of the season is something that so many people want to see on this game. As you see, there are no team of the season loading screens. We're still in the middle of team of the knockout stage. Um, but team of the season is going to be coming soon and I'm going to be taking a look at uh, doing a lot of research in the next coming days and putting out some video for you guys. Um, just looking at team of the season trends. We're going to look at how to invest during team of the season, SBCs that came out during the team of the season. And if you're looking to do tons and tons of upgrade packs and stuff like that, I want to take a look at some of those strategies as well. Maybe like stocking your clubs early with gold cards because during team of the season, uh, gold cards, like just a regular gold card to go put into an SBC, they're not discard anymore. You go over here, gold, Premier League, right now you go to 700 coins. We'll do a minimum buy now of 650 because we want rare golds. And okay, there's not very many. It's Premier League. Um, but you know, you're paying 700 to 800 coins 
for these rare cards? Why are there no rare Premier League cards? We get some SBC that requires Premier League cards. Well, all rares are actually like 800 coins. Are people really doing these? People must be doing the player picks right now. I did not realize that. There was a rare gold right there for 800 coins. But at the very beginning of Team of the Season, when all the packs are out and there's not going to be player picks in the store that people are going to be spamming, you're going to see the rare golds. They're going to be 700 coins, 650 on bid, 600 on bid for the 75 rated. And you're literally just going to be go, able to go out and do this. Minimum price, 600, 650 and buy up a bunch of these cards. Just bid 650 on them and stock your club. And once you have the club full, you can you can sell the duplicates for 700 coins or quick sell the card for like a 20 coin loss, you know? Just to make sure that you have the entire club full. That's what you want to do with a lot of these cards because that's going to save you some big time coin when team and season comes and everybody is starting to do um, upgrade packs. When those come out, if you already have all the rare gold cards in your club ready to go, you're going to be able to do your first set of packs a lot cheaper than a lot of other people will be able to. I mean, you can even take it as far as going way, way unassigned with a lot of those cards on bid. If you're going to do tons and tons of packs and that's all you're going to do, you could honestly just go unassigned on tons of rare gold cards for 650 coins. And when those, coin when those cards go up to 1K, you'll be saving yourself three to four thousand coins per SBC, maybe even five thousand coins per SBC, upgrade SBC that you do. And you know, if you do a hundred upgrade SBCs and you're saving um, five thousand coins each time, I mean, that's a lot of coins. So you obviously want to do a lot. That's a decent idea to do to do some of that. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely take a look at that. Um, I'm not going to say that it's the best thing to do, because if you want to invest and trade during team of the season, you won't be able to do that if you're unassigned um, w with coins like that. But um, that will definitely be an option um, for you guys that are wanting to stack packs like I will be also wanting to do. So again, we can, we're can on my transfer list now, so let's take a look at some of these Thursday flips. I'm still selling a few of them. I had a lot of the Socrates card. I'm, I'm looking at, I think I had like 15 of him. I do have some Klosnak as well. He's still in packs. That one really didn't do too well. I'm looking for that more out of packs. I think I have about 10 of him as well. Then some investments for uh, Player of the Year. That's going to be coming this weekend. Sunday at 7 p.m. UK, I will be looking out for this. I have just a few English informs and some Premier League informs. We'll talk about that um, probably tomorrow a little bit more, what to watch for with that SBC in the last, kind of leading up to when that SBC could come out. But heading to the transfer list, I have cleared off a decent amount of these cards already. Actually, I, I cleared a lot of them off. I think I was mad because I accidentally listed this Sergio Ramos for minimum bid. I was very, very mad about that. I had some menu lag. I've been using the Sergio Ramos for a long time in my club. And of course, uh, we have some menu lag and he gets listed up for minimum. Um, but I had a lot of those Socrates cards. Um, I bought all of those for like a 38 uh, average price, 38,000 coins average price. Um, and I sold a lot of them for 49 to 50,000 coins. Now, as you can see, he's still, he's dipped back down a little bit. He's like 47,000 coins uh, for right there for the, the group stage and the ones to watch. I was able to sell a lot of them at 50 during the day today. So that was a really nice money maker. Again, if you check, if you stayed to the uh, pretty cheap stuff, you know, under 200,000 coins, Premier League, um, kind of where I looked for those cards, you made some pretty good money. Uh, the Richarlison, I actually flipped four five of these um i bought them all at eighty one thousand coins to 85k and i sold them all for 99 or a hundred thousand coins you can see there's one for 90 91 thousand and then 90k right there so i feel like i got some pretty good sales on that card he's right around a hundred thousand that was a good one um and then one other card that i actually was very surprised with um i should have bought more of them i i realized it's too late paul pogba last night before awards was a hundred and twenty thousand coins he was i got a few of them on bid for like 114 115 and today during the peak time of the day i sold three or four of these pogbas for 140k um so that was really good profit like twenty thousand coins a card plus on some of those pogba cards because i was able to get them on bid the night before at such a very good price um, and sell him when he hit his highest point. So Pogba is a riser every week. I mean, we can even take a second here and go look at his card on the market. Um, but this gold Pogba, every single week, and I saw this last night when I was looking at, for some cards to pick up on bid, 
you can see this his lowest it said was 30k but if we look at yesterday right right here is when I was kind of buying 117 before awards even Wednesday night even a little bit through here but right here was when I really got him 117k I got a couple for around that price five or six of them um, and then boom he shoots right up to 130 so you can tell even if you bought on Wednesday maybe you got him on bid for the low 120s you're selling around 100 138 to 140,000 coins that's some pretty good profit and again if you look back out here if you go let's go on a six month graph he has all these little peaks and he goes up and down almost every single week middle of the week 160 after weekend league rewards he's like 176 so that's not a ton of profit but this card moves every week and especially this week when we were talking about the under 200k budget premier league would be the best players to flip he fit that bill perfectly he's a meta meta player in the game and uh, it was that was a great a great pickup um, right there. So again, if you're trying to make coins in this market, it is pretty hard. Now I'm trading with a lot of the rare cards. I love this Di Maria. Um, I flipped a few of those today. Um, and if you like trading with other man of the match cards, just make yourself a concept squad with some man of the matches and some other rare cards that are in the game, kind of like I have here. Just go through and check it every once in a while. Suarez here, 705. That's pretty cheap. Um, we'll have to watch that one. Striker Promes. You just kind of learn to see which the which of these cards actually sell a lot. Um, obviously, the newer ones sell a bit more. You have Lacazette, 230k. Um, this Salah UCL Man of the Match card is actually really high right now, 695k. That's pretty high. Um, I had some other cards out here on the bench. I think I had a Coutinho. I had the Coutinho Champions League. Um, man of the match card as well so these are cards that you could that have dropped uh yes they have dropped but you can kind of just go through here i want this one i think this is the one that i want the champions league man of the match yes it is so you can just kind of add these cards to your transfer list and you know you might see a coutinho pop up for like 95k you're like i know i can relist that for 110 and sell take your 10,000 coins profit and have a good deal with that card right there it's just a really easy way to make a concept squad like this as you can see it's not really full right now for me at the moment um, but it's a really easy way to keep track of players um, and watch their prices during the day even if you don't have a ton of time it's really easy to click open the app go in a concept squad press compare price and you can you know sift through these very few amount of cards for the man of the matches pretty quickly even if you're on ps4 where there's a lot more supply there's not a lot of pages of the man of the match cards. So that's a really easy way to trade in this market as well right now. But you can see that I'm pretty liquid and I would recommend getting pretty liquid uh, with your coins as well. Now, a lot of people ask me, when do I sell my team? The ideal time would have been, obviously, when we looked at the market, you saw this. The ideal time to sell your team would have been last week. Honestly, if we look at the daily graph, this was the time right here to sell your team last week. For weekend league rewards but obviously the market went down a ton this week if you still have a team i would think you probably want to get out of it um i don't know when we're going to get team of the season with no uh world cup this year i honestly wonder if it will be a couple weeks later this year since they've been running so many promos um and we haven't had a ton of promos in succession with each other recently now you look at the graph here it's got all the promos on the graph we had the team of the season um, FFS, Headliners, Ones to Watch, Carnival, Foot Birthday, Team of the Knockout Stage in here, but this is a big gap from Foot Birthday to Team of the Knockout Stage. Like it was two, three weeks, whereas in here we were having a promo like every other week. It was just promo after promo after promo, even with the icon moments in here as well. So now that it's slowed down a lot, a lot of people are having their coins liquid. Um, again, everybody's going to be getting their 14th foot swap item from Squad Battles. So this weekend, the focus is going to kind of shift to Icon SBCs, um, and honestly, the focus will be on the there's a there's a pro event as well, and I think there are live Twitch drops and rewards for that. I haven't checked, but I would imagine that EA would do that. So again, that's another reason to watch some of these Team of the Year cards and icons because people are going to be watching other pro players play and realizing you know that these cards are freaking sick. Like this Mbappe is going to be in my end game final team. 3 million coins right now is the cheapest that this card has ever been. Um, and he's going to get hyped up this weekend when people watch him get used during these pro events. So that's one thing to keep your eye on as well. Um, always watching those pro events to see what cards they're using uh, because that translates to what people try and 
in game, uh, just the casuals as well. They like to see what the pros are doing so that they can try to replicate it themselves. But if you have coins right now on the game, if you have a team, get your coins, get liquid, and uh, resist the temptation to go and do SBCs. I mean, going and looking at the market right there and seeing that high rated golds were like 800 coins, that means people are doing this player pick upgrade, which is one of the most, it's a scam of an SBC because you don't, there's no uh, rating, like there's no require uh, rating in return. Like it's not an 81 plus player pick. You just get one special player pick with a rare gold player and you have to turn in six to do this SBC. I did five of these. I got 184. I said, I'm done. I, I tested my luck with five of them. I said, I'm out. And hopefully you guys had some luck with these, but I certainly did not. So this is a scam SBC, but people are sucking their coins into it because people are suckers for SBCs this year. We've seen that time and time again. People just love to do the SBCs, but we are certainly in the pre-markets, pre-crash stages of team of the season and the pre-crash really almost looks like a crash if you're going to look at this graph we're going to look at this graph in a couple months and be like man that was the team of the season market crash yes it has started it is here now it's only going to continue for the next couple of weeks until we do get team of the season but again a lot more videos upcoming on team of the season market type stuff where do cards go we're going to look at team of the years icons everything like that high rated golds team of the season cards themselves we'll be looking at those things individually coming up here in the next couple of days probably do like a little series with it honestly we'll just have like a team of the season series and we'll look at all the different types of card movements in the game, kind of like I did for Team of the Year uh, or Footmas, one of the two. I did a series like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up, a good old market talk for your Friday viewing. Good luck in the weekend league if you're playing. Get those rewards. Um, and if they're doing Twitch drops this weekend, and enjoy the, the pro event if you're going to be watching that as well. Thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions. And again, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.